Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this one we're just doing a little bit of micro lure fishing just to try and catch as many species as possible. Um, because uh, fishing really, really small, it imitates like tiny little insects and like natural forage that the fish would have. So you'll pick up uh, like all your roach, rudd, bream, you name it, everything eats it, even your pike and perch. Uh, so all the lures I've got in my bag uh, between 1 and 1.4 inch. <laughs> so uh, to, to uh, sort of fish that effectively you need the right sort of tackle. So I'll, I'll run over my rod and reel and, and line and everything that I've got here. I'm not naming any brands or anything. Uh, so uh, it gives you an idea what sort of sort of tackle you actually need to flick. Literally that's a, a 0.4 gram jig head. <laughs> it's not ideal for that sort of law but I've seen some chub today so uh, I thought I'd fish a little bit slower with a bigger bait just to try and get some attention from them but uh, no joy on that part but you'll see in the video so uh, we'll crack on with a little tackle talk and I'll uh, run through sort of the general gist of micro fishing <laughs> And the only real way you can you know, sort of do it is using a spinning rod and in this case I'm using a 0 to 5 gram casting weight uh, 6 foot 3 it's as light as anything it's absolutely beautiful to play fish on you get a nice little scrap out of every tiny little fish you can catch um, so yeah nice little short handle super super light so you can carry it all day the only downside to it is uh, in this sort of weather where it's windy as hell you, you can really struggle casting such small laws with such light braid it just like flies away like it's, it's, a, it's a spool of cotton basically so uh, I just got that paired up with a, a 1000 size reel uh, you can probably get away with 500 if you uh, want to fork out a little bit more cash for a smaller reel but uh, with this it just seems so evenly balanced it's, it's absolutely perfect for it and I got that paired with a, a five pound braid because um, I found that if you go any heavier like an eight pound or you know like an eight strand braid this is this is four strand by the way you'll struggle casting and uh, your law won't sink right in the water because the braid's so buoyant on the top where with the five pound four strand you just cut through it like it's like it's not an icing root for a butter uh, and then after that i'm fishing i'd show you it on the camera but it's, it's so thin it's it's a two pound fluorocarbon leader um reason for fluorocarbon is well the chance of catching it a pike is very slim i've only had maybe two or three uh, in the time that I've been there uh, fishing macro laws through the summer um, you're alright, you, you'll find a little tiny little pile like this but they're never big enough to get the whole lot in, your, in, in its mouth and cut you off um, so uh, you're pretty safe doing it and it, it gives you the option of fishing extra extra fine so you can catch some roach and gudgeon and all sorts on it you could probably even go down to a one pound if you wanted to if you're fishing the right sort of laws like a blood worm or something like that um, so yeah, it, it's nice because you can just go out and catch everything absolutely everything if you're having a hard time fishing get some little one inch laws get your little light rod you can go out into something you'll bag up any canal any water you go to you'll find all the little fry and everything just eating worms and uh, if you put a little one inch worm on you'll be catching up roach and that as well so uh, yeah it's a good time of year <laughs> well sorry not a good time of year i mean it's, it's a good method to just just go in a bike highly recommend it it's a lot of fun as well especially if you go out with somebody else and have a little competition see who can catch the most so let's get back to fishing
Right, so what we've got here is, that's a, a little creature bait. Um, I think it's 1.3 inch. Um, and that's my go-to sort of perch and, and chub lot. But this one, this is a uh, 1.3 inch uh, Polaris worm. Now, the red one works, but I've also caught on the gold one as well. The gold one's a nice one to use. Um, but that one's really good for catching all the roach and, and rudd and all sorts. But, you know, your general coarse fish. Uh, there was a bream earlier, you've probably seen it in the video now, that it was dogging that, and it just could not get it in its mouth. It would, you could see it in the water, it was, it was snapping at you and trying to pick it up off the bottom and couldn't get it. <laughs> it was just static on bottom. It's a proper dumb fish, but it's bream that have been the, the hardest ones to try and catch for me on, on the laws. They just don't seem to want it, except that one, obviously. But uh, yeah, and that's a uh, size 12, 0.4 gram jig head, uh, which is a little bit too big for them. I could use do with a uh, size four. It's not four. A fourteen. Uh, I've got some fourteen hooks, but I've got no uh, no weights to add to it. Uh, normally I carry some shots around. A BB shot would have been perfect for it, uh, and it would have been ideal. I probably would have caught a lot more of the smaller roach that was in the first swim. Uh, but you win some, you lose some. Eh? That's fishing. I'm going to put this one back on. I'm going to go and try and catch some more roach. First ever bream on a log. Get in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See how you're up to. Should be up to me. Yeah. There's a lot. It's in its mouth, a little Polaris. Polaris worm. Just come out because I crimped the barbs down. A lovely little brain. So I've come to a nice uh, little shelter there. You can see how it's blowing a gale out here. So hopefully you should be able to hear me without wind noise. Um, I'm just going to run over out here, sort of work your little tiny micro laws. And it's the most simplest thing you've ever seen. Um, ideally, you don't want a weight that's just going to drop straight to the bottom. Uh, you want it so you can work it so it's probably so that 40 to a, inches to a foot off of the bottom. Because uh, if you think about perch, they're quite a hyperactive fish when they're quite small because they spend all the time chasing little fry, chasing little worms across the bottom and things like that. Uh, yeah, you can obviously slow bounce it when it's a bit colder and jig the bottom. But uh, personally, I just like to just flick it out, let it sink a little bit. This is quite a, a light jig of it. It's like I've said in the video about 0.4 grams. Um, so uh, just let it sink for a second. And you're literally just really, really just softly just jigging the tip like that. Practically like shivering it. So then it's just bouncing it on the spot like that as it's coming in. Um, the good thing about it is because it's so light and you're using braid, the braid's quite buoyant so it can keep the lure up in the water, a bit like drop shotting. You have a bit more freedom of, you know, getting it to drop to the bottom with a lot more contact and uh, you can keep it lower in the water without it actually, you know, snagging or losing weights and things like that. So basically, you want to feel that like it helps when it's freezing cold out because then you can shake your hands right quick like this and get it really jiggling in the water to get their attention. Um, so yeah. You want to shake it like you're freezing cold. That way you can get proper action to your lot and wind them little perch up until, until they just have no choice but to just come and bite it. And then you bang, whack him, so that I can catch him. So we've come to the end of the video now and uh, I think it went quite well. I finally got myself a bream on the law and uh, we got a few roach and, and um, what was it, a rud. We had a run as well. The only one we were missing was a chub. Uh, there was one massive one down there. It kept following me with Laura and it came in about three times. And uh, I just couldn't get it. And um, well, yeah, so I ended up just going for perch because they're quite easy to catch. Uh, I lost a, a little pike that was about a pound as well. But uh, my GoPro ran out of power after that bream, so we can't see it. I want to say thank you for watching. 
comment, rate, subscribe, do what the hell you want, and definitely do not poo in the bath. Don't poo in the bath. He's not around, is he? <laughs> I'm an idiot.